other one. So we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? Uh, <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. Okay, so um, are you homeless right now? Yes. Okay, um, how old are you? 26. 26? And so how long How long have you been homeless? Um, for about a couple days. A couple days? Yeah. So what happened a couple days ago that caused you to become homeless? Uh, I would say just keeping up with time. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I mean, what happened? Like, so a few days ago, you had a roof over your head and then something happened. What happened to where it made you so you couldn't have a roof over your head? Um, I would say I didn't listen to my father. Okay, so right. we're like... I think I asked you just last time, is that some accountability? There's mental illness off the bat. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, sensing, I'm, I'm, I'm sensing immediate mental illness. Yeah. And then another thing is, this is a beautiful girl. I've seen some natural beauty, even for a homeless woman who appears to be on drugs. Mm -hmm. So, man, come on, man. This should be somebody's wife right now. Yes, it should. Yes, it should not. <laughs> Accountability don't, don't land you homeless. Yeah, so, you know, I, I, I guess it could be some new developed, but you know, when he first started asking her questions, she's singing. You know, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I was like, like I said, he said, "Why?" She said, "I ain't listen to my dad." That's all. Yeah, thing I was that, yeah that's, she said that, and but shit. Oh, let's see, let's see what didn't she listen to? Yeah, that's vague as hell. <laughs> but I just wanted to get, like I said, I just wanted to get that off the back. It's a beautiful woman, man. man this is about to get real dark. It's such this, unfortunate. What's amazing, like you guys know, you do not expect to see this face and, and it be homeless. Y'all know that. This is not your stereotypical run of the mill, stereotypical homeless person. This is not it's not what they show on TV, probably for a reason. We are here sounding the damn alarm. Your neighbor, your cuz, your friend, your girlfriend and them, they all end up homeless just like her. Look at her. Like I said before, she from the hood near you. Come on. He had a, a particular rule he wanted you to follow or something? Yes. What was it? Um, my grandma's rule is listening to God, and my dad's rule is listening to my dad. Okay. And so what was it that your dad wanted you to do that you didn't want to do? Nothing. Okay. So why'd you have to leave the house? Um, I would say because uh, I was doing an interview. Sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie, what you doing? Okay, so quick interruption, but all right. So I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out like what happened that caused you to become homeless. I would say genes, ancestry, is influential. Okay. All right. So let, let me. Got mental illness and some type yeah. of substance. There's a substance abuse issue. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it, either or or both, but nevertheless, that's somebody's baby. Y'all yeah. need to y'all need to be trying to go get her up out the streets. This is a recent interview. I want to say, I, I, whether it is or not, y'all need to be trying to figure out. Yeah, before before the most insidious and the most heinous of nug nugs get a hold of her, y'all need to, somebody need to go get her because it's a it's a it's a joker. It's a whole hyena out there just waiting for her to cross their path, and he got a needle or a little white rock, something waiting for her. And that's and that's just gonna be the swan song. It's gonna be over at that point because obviously she didn't ask. She didn't answer the same question about four different times. You know what happened? All is, is my because I listened to my daddy because of my ancestry because of my DNA because she the, around aimlessly. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Mental illness is definitely there at the same time. You know, mental illness don't get you homeless. Like, yeah, that's not your daddy ain't kicked out because you're a little slow. No, you out here wild and probably on some type of wild drug. And this don't seem like crack. This that this like a heroin or some some. I don't know. Oh yeah, like you said, some. This is some type of lucid drug. There you, you go. Know? Yeah, because she, she, uh, is. she yeah, can't. She on some. She ain't. <laughs> she on some hard. And it's so much. So many drugs out there now. There's no telling. No it's a shame. It's a or mix of them. It's a shame. Do you have any kids? No. No? Okay. Have you ever been married? No. No? All right. Let's just start from the beginning. So okay. where are you from? I'm from Detroit. Did you have both mom and dad in the household? Yes. Okay. Um, were they married? 
Um, they weren't married yet, but it was a whole family thing. Okay, so they was together or whatever? Yes. Okay. Alright, and so as far as it goes, like growing up, would you say you had a fairly normal childhood? No. Tell me about it. Um, my dad was smart and my dad was intelligent and he taught me the right and wrong ways as well as my mom. They were teens. Okay. And my mom, she was taught how to be a lady and my dad was taught how to be a man by my grandmother. And that means we're doing genes. And Somebody go find this poor girl before the streets swallow her up like whole. Just been a few days. She said she only been under for a few days. It ain't I, that. Strange. I don't think that's true. I yeah, there you go. There you, you know, go. Cause she, the way she's talking, she doesn't really have a good strong grip on with reality. She's sitting here talking about, you know, she grew up in the household and, you know, they did the family thing and she was, her dad was very smart. Her mom was a lady. What this got to do with the price of tea in China? You just talking. And how you wind up here? You say you didn't, you know, she says she heard because she didn't listen to her daddy and his genes, but her grandma said, listen to God and her dad said, listen to him. So there is no accountability. She keeps trying to say that, you know, the reason why she out here, because she was, you know, told to listen to her daddy and she didn't want to do that. And her genetics is funked up. That's her, that's her, that's her accountability. My genetics is funked up, bad DNA. And uh, my dad ain't do nothing, but I don't want to listen to him. He ain't tell me to do nothing I didn't want to do, but I didn't listen to him. I come she on. Ain't she, told us to. she just ain't talking. I, I don't know. know. Listen, to listen to just anybody, and that's what marriage is. Okay, okay. So, I mean, have you ever been diagnosed? Like, do you have a history of any mental health diagnosis yes. or anything like that? Schizophrenia, bipolar, psychosis. Okay, what age? Do you remember what age you were when that diagnosis occurred? Um, I would say 16. 16, so you were still 18. in high school? Yeah. Okay. Coming out of high school. It's coming out of Frantic psychotic psychosis. That's, like I said, some of these women will make the Joker blush. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah, schizophrenia and, and uh, bipolar and all that psychosis. Psychosis. Psych that psychotic. <laughs> Yeah, that's that. Back in the day, that mess around got you a good old-fashioned little don't you know? They go ahead and shove a tube up your nose and go ahead and neutralize that part of your brain and turn you into a walking vision. You know what I'm saying? These babies ain't supposed to be out here roaming the streets like this. Not like this. Come on. I'm trying to tell you something. Y'all don't... There is solutions. I ain't going to get into it. But, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is bad. Please pay attention. And here we go. All y'all sisters out there that if y'all really pay attention and get out y'all state of delusion and pay attention and see that y'all are trending towards this post sisters, you know, towards her destination. You know, you might want to see if you got some type of bipolar disorder because, you know, it seemed to be rampant amongst these street interviewers here or interviewees because. They all seem to be bipolar. Everybody bipolar in the hood. That's for sure. Everybody claim to be bipolar. Y'all need to stop. If the doctor ain't diagnosed y'all with these things, stop saying that that's what y'all is. I just hear people say, I'm a little bipolar. Stop. You, you stop. Stop putting that on yourself. Because this is this is what it looks like. To some degree, at least, like I said, we these people come over here and they be lying. And that's one thing me and Gavin know that a lot of people don't like to admit that these People be just lying a lot. Huh. I tell, I ain't no telling how long she been homeless. She might not be homeless. She might be currently on the run. Somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like she ain't looking all dirty mm -hmm. and grungy. That's what I'm about to say. She don't. She up I said she don't look bad. She, she might. She might be 12 hours out. Hey, hey, two, there we go. Might not be so dark. Real quick, let's play. You know, let's play. Uh, not devil's advocate. Let's play Jesus's advocate. <laughs> let's say there's a man out there. Okay, yeah, we keep thinking about it's this darkness, but there's Tyler, like Tyler Perry movies where the man found the homeless girl, cleaned her up, and turned him into his wife. So maybe there's something like that. That's what I'm hoping because that ain't far fetched for this woman. She there ain't you big. Go. She young. She ain't got no kids. She don't see. You know what I mean? I, like you said, 
the mental, I don't know if she's too far gone mentally, but I think, it, yeah, it depends. On, well, she acting she gotta wild. Her, she got to go get some intensive inpatient care somewhere. There you go. They come back out and then, like I said, a man got to get her cleaned up, send her off somewhere, bring her back. Like, you might have something. It's tough to tell if she's acting like this mainly because of underlying health issues or or drugs. Don't really know why she lying and talking in circles like this, you know. But based on if we take what she said to be true, then like Gab said, she needs some serious in-depth, you know, um treatment at the nearest high medical school. facility. And so when you went to high school, did you go to high school in Detroit or here in Atlanta? I went to elementary school in Detroit and Atlanta I went to Grayson. Okay, so you moved here when you was like around middle school age or so? Stop. I'm asking. Um, yeah, when... Sweetwater. <laughs> okay, okay. So what are you doing out here on Candler Road? Um, well, I am on the boulevard with my me amigo. <laughs> Yeah, I see your guy right here. No, I ain't turning to you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I see your guy right here. Is that is that your man or whatever? This my right hand man. Well, I mean, is that your boyfriend? No. No? You say what? You just a friend? Okay. All right, so I mean, how long have you been out here on Candler Road? Um. Did you just get out here today? Here we are. We can start drawing this conclusion. I just let him talk. I ain't saying it. Here we are. We got a lady of the night and her handler. Here we go. <laughs> Ain't her boyfriend, nah. Mm -hmm. That's business. I mean, we all seen hustle and flow. We know how this goes. Yes, that's it's bad. Sick. It is what it is. <laughs> Just take note. What what else we got to say about this one? Y'all see how it gets darker and darker. Continue to watch these different faces with the same stories. That's all we want y'all to do. Continue to watch all the different faces with the exact same story. These rebels without a cause. These people out there burning bridges completely down while they still on them. Pay attention to these stories. Okay, remember, you got to stay still. <laughs> you got to stay still, baby. You got to stay still, okay? Okay. All right. All right, so, <laughs> okay, so this this is kind of awkward, right? There's a lot of awkward behavior going on. Um, and you're still, I mean, you're 26 years old. Like, did you know this guy before today? No. So you see, just met him? Y'all just yeah. met? Yeah. Okay, how'd y'all meet? We met just a second ago on the corner. On the corner? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so, <laughs> what what are y'all like, where y'all headed to? What's What are y'all doing? Um, I'm about to go home. Okay, so where's home at? So you have a place to go that's home? Yes. Because you said you was homeless earlier. Okay, I would say I, I am homeless. Like, I'm looking for a home right now. I'm a struggling artist. I'm, I'm an artist. First what, do you, what do you do? Uh, rap, sing, okay. model, actress. Okay, so you can rap? So yes. here we are. Atlanta is the Black Hollywood. <laughs> so you and you getting a lot of these girls are. That's why you saying we saying why is this homelessness? Why is it so many homeless people? You know, concentrated in Atlanta, black. You know, because just you say the same thing. Why is it Skid Row in Los Angeles? Okay, people go there become movie stars. You know, and they put all their eggs and they go out there with twenty dollars in their pocket. And we hear these stories. And everybody don't turn into fucking John Travolta. A lot of people end up on Skid Row, and this is Atlanta Skid Row where. People are showing up to become rappers, actors, whatever, dancers, because there's a whole scene down there for this. But it's obviously oversaturated, and people get down there thinking they're going to make millions and figure out most of these people are doing this stuff for free. they extras, and they getting 50 <laughs> bucks. they getting 50 bucks to come twerking the video, and they don't even understand it's not lucrative. And mm -hmm. they move down there, and there's no bread, and they and they end up homeless. And this is what we're witnessing. This is <laughs> what it is. Tell you what, she talking about she just met this guy. Like I said, the the lies, the delusion, the mental health, you know, the heavy scent of of hard narcotics. I don't know what to make of this. I don't know whether to say a prayer for this poor demented soul or or you know what I'm saying, get on her about doing these hard. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She lying, she wild, she's sick. I just don't know. 
I get stuck when I can't draw a conclusion on people because she just, I got nothing. I don't know. I can't trust nothing she say. I don't know what she talking about. I don't know if she homeless. I don't know if her, I don't know if her daddy down the street. Wait, you don't know. You have no idea. Maybe she took a long trip to the gas station. She, <laughs> she is talking in circles. She a rapper, artist. First and foremost, now that's that's what you don't know. First and foremost, she's an artist. First and absolute foremost. But nevertheless, she out here homeless. I guess yeah, she moved. Oh, to there a- you go. Uh, but here we go up under all this homelessness and schizophrenia and stuff. Probably is a talented young woman. Possibly. So two things could be true. I guess. True. That's true. You know, just unfortunate. Could be. It could be. Black people are amazing. They are amazing. I never take that away from them. At the very same time, we got to we got to keep a firm hold on reality. You know, you can't you can't just keep being a, a homeless rapper. What's your end game? Thank God she don't have children. Keep going. There you go. You ain't got no kids. You, you, you know what I'm saying? saying? You out there, you she, she'll talk every now and again like she got some sense. I think she really is, you know, dealing with mental issues. Cause she'll talk and she'll and she'll flow for a while and then she just go south quick whop and then she'll walk away and come back. She just met this guy a second ago. That sounds like some stuff you tell to the cop when they ask you is that your pimp? Now, I just met him on the corner seconds ago. I don't know this dude. That's what I'm saying. That was like they that's it's a script. Yeah, that's a script. Yeah, that's that's I was following that. Then she started talking wonk again, but that's a script. Yeah, I just met him. That's that what he said. If he might ask you, do you know me? We just met. We just met. That I can we don't have we just we literally if she would have said anything other than that, she probably would have got her head went upside on that camera. Yes, I understand that part. Can't, can't say you know me and I'm out here pimping you. No, you don't know me. Just met you. What's up, boys? <laughs> Give My us 20 seconds. And now I'm going strong, rocking out like Cardi, Native Barbie in the Great Fari. Now get my Steve Harvey. Barbie, did I mention our potential? Cause when it's static, I'm apprehensive. I probably like my dear grip reflection, taking our place with the Western we live in heaven. I said it first. We next up bringing people up, call me the president. It's everything. Race the thing that I have to go Girl. Alright, so right here, right here, right here, sweetie, right here, right here. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Um, do your parents know that you're out here? No. No? Um, I mean, if they were to happen to see this video on YouTube, what do you think their thoughts and their reactions would be? It would be get it together. Okay. Um, I mean, what were y'all plans, man? What was you about to go do? Y'all just about to go chill? We, so, was, I mean, about to, we was about to smoke a blunt. And we was about to, I was about to go home. Okay, and so where's home for you? Stockbridge. Stockbridge? Mm -hmm. Okay, how how was you getting there? The bus. Bus don't go to Stockbridge. Yes, it does. Marta don't go to Stockbridge. (laughs) Marta doesn't go to Stockbridge. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Well, um, I mean, it's just kind of an awkward situation. Okay. Um, But... So, you're not technically homeless? No. Okay, you live with your parents? No. Who do you live with? Myself. Okay, so you have your own place? Yes. All right, so... I'm really looking for somebody right now. He's a good boy. Um, He's a man, and he's probably looking for, like, marriage. So, that's what I'm into. Okay, so you're looking for a guy right now? Marriage. Okay, so you're looking for a husband? Yes. Okay. I mean, when was the last time you was in a relationship? Um, last year. Okay, what happened to that relationship? Why did it dissolve? He put his hands on me. Ah, uh, okay. How long did the relationship last? A year. A year? Yeah. And so did he put his hands on you like just one time or was it a bunch of times? It was one time. It was, it was time? a bunch of times. It was a bunch of times. She just talking. At this point, I... I don't recommend any man go around this woman. Don't let her in your house. Real shit. This is something women got to figure out where the fucking government. There you go. This ain't a man's fight. I'm sorry. Because she too fucking fickle. And and you don't want to be dealing with her. Don't let this woman in your house. And I know Nug Nug out there. Nug Nug do what you want. Y'all all, that's the street life. That's the underworld. I get it. 
<laughs> but anybody worth some salt, don't let be around this woman. Don't let her in your car. Don't let her in your house. Yeah. Don't even conversate with her for real, for real. Like I said, there's institutions and stuff for her. And that's it. There ain't nothing else. You hear her talking. She rapping. The the old so uh, familiar aroma of crack is starting to radiate. Anytime I'm sorry. Anytime I see somebody out there homeless and dancing and singing or rapping, I smell a little crack in you. <laughs> I only I only know little white rocks that had that kind of effect. <laughs> but man, yeah, she she wow. She she ain't homeless. She ain't technically homeless. She talking about she about to catch the bus to places where the bus route don't go. And this brother, he know like that bus don't go there. And she like okay. <laughs> Hey, she's like, okay. He's like, this is awkward. And she's like, okay. Yeah, she, uh, the net net of it, go get y'all baby off the streets. We got to pay closer attention. God damn, it's a beautiful young girl. There you go. Uh, she's on, they start talking about uh, marriage and stuff. I don't even know what that was about. And you know what? And there you go. We keep saying, you know, saying, talking about her physical appearance. Even when you cracked out, even when you got, you got a couple screws loose. You know, that pretty privilege still reigns. So she out here in these streets. She out here moving wild. She may be semi-partially homeless and all that. But as you see, it's, it's a goofy nug nug tagging right behind, letting, telling her that she this and that. Still willing to try to coax her underwear off her. Still, still don't care. Because she's an attractive younger lady. And that's sick. So even homeless and meant to, and having severe mental issues and most likely some crack she still can find a munch ass negro to to be sniffing behind her and that's sick and that's sick uh, if you ask me that's why she won't go home that's why she moving like this on top of mental health crack <laughs> and uh the instant and non-stop gratification she getting from nug nug you know what I'm saying just trying to see what that's about is that sick?